America's Evil Genius is with you here, and I wanted to take a couple of moments to uh, make some comments on the untimely uh, and shocking passing of Andrew Breitbart earlier today. Um, I was stunned when I heard the news, just as I think all of the rest of you were. It was like a punch in the gut. Um, you know, I was always, I, I never knew Andrew Breitbart, never met him, never talked to him, but uh, always was aware of his work, always enjoyed his work. And, you know, I'm not, a, I'm not a person who's really into hero worship or into saying, hey, I'm inspired by so-and-so, or I'm not a person who looks to others for inspiration. That's just not my personality. But I would always tell you that uh, in terms of Andrew Breitbart, I was always aware of what he was doing. I always enjoyed what he was doing, and I always appreciated what he was doing. Uh, I thought he was doing some things and saying some things that needed to be done in this country in this, in this time. Uh, you know, he really blazed a, a lot of trails in terms of the new media, in terms of the internet, in terms of, of putting a message out there that needed to be put out there. And you look going forward now in 2012, there's thousands of people, maybe even millions of us, who are out there, you know, writing blogs and, and having internet sites and, and doing uh, video blogs like I do and any number of things. Uh, continuing on down that trail that Andrew Breitbart blazed uh, for us, and we're all better off for it. Um, you know, I remember uh, in his book, Righteous Indignation, uh, Andrew Breitbart talked a lot about pop culture and how the right in America sort of ceded pop culture to the left and, and gave up on it for a few decades. And he knew that we have to, to get our message out there in pop culture. We have to uh, put forth our message in a way where people who would not ordinarily hear it would be exposed to it. And I think Andrew Breitbart was well ahead of a lot of conservatives on that. That's not something that you heard conservatives talk about very much before Andrew did it. And, and he was able to do that. You know, Some of you might know that I spent about 15 years in the professional wrestling business in my younger days. And uh, in the wrestling business there's a particular term that you sometimes hear people mention. Uh, term called the it factor. You know, so and so has the it factor. And what the it factor basically means, you can't really define it, but what it basically means roughly is that you have the ability when there's a camera on or when you have a microphone in your hand, you have the ability to jump through a television screen and grab someone by the lapels and force them to pay attention to you. And Andrew Breitbart had that it factor. He was able to get his message out there in popular culture in places it would not ordinarily go because he had that ability to say things in such a way that it forced you to pay attention to them and it forced you to respond to them. And we're going to need a lot more of that this next upcoming year in the election and, and even going forward uh, if we're going to positively change America. But, uh, you know, I, th I think that uh, Andrew Breitbart was a tremendous contributor to the American discussion. And he said a lot of things that needed to be said, stood for a lot of things that needed to be stood for, and uh, kind of went after some sacred cows that needed, uh, needed to be killed, if you will. Uh, in, in closing, I suppose I can say, again, not knowing Andrew Breitbart, never having met him, but I always got the impression by watching him and, and, and paying attention to his work, that not only did he have the courage to stand up for what he believed, not only did he have the guts to follow through with it and the vision to, to see what he could do, but I also think that he got, again, not knowing it, but I always got the impression that he got a lot of enjoyment out of doing what he was doing. That he relished this a little bit. He enjoyed it. Uh, if you ever followed him on Twitter and saw some of the back and forths and the arguments he would have with liberals, you got the feeling that he really got a charge out of doing this. And when you think about it, you know, here's someone who found something they were passionate about, pursued it with everything they had, and got a lot of enjoyment out of it, got a lot of pleasure out of it, and really when you think about it, isn't that the life that we should all be so fortunate to live? Uh, rest in peace, Andrew. Uh, we're all better for your having participated in the American conversation.